Hey everyone, it's Andrew. As always, I hope you're doing awesome wherever you are. Do you ever experience knee pain when you jump rope? If so, this video could help you. A week ago, I got a question from a viewer asking for some advice for jumpers knee pain. And that's why I made this video. If you're experiencing knee pain when you jump rope, the first thing I would do is assess your technique. Make sure you're using proper jump rope technique. Another thing that I would recommend doing is some simple exercises that strengthen the muscles around your knee and keep them flexible. So that's what I do in this video. I talk a little bit about proper jump rope technique and then I show you some very simple exercises that you can do at home to strengthen the muscles around your knee and keep them flexible. All right, I really hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, compare the technique that you're seeing now with the technique which you'll see in just a few seconds. Notice here how low I'm jumping off the ground. A lot of people, especially people new to jumping rope, they jump far too high off the ground. And the technique which you saw before this, that's not uncommon for beginners. In fact, when I first started jumping rope, I jumped in a similar fashion. And the higher that you jump, the more impact that you place on your knees. Remember, a jump rope is really not that thick, so we don't need to jump too high to get over the rope. With practice, the goal should be to jump lower and lower off the ground. So if you're experiencing knee pain when you jump rope, take a look at how high you're jumping off the ground and work towards lowering your jump height. This here is a fantastic exercise for strengthening the quadricep muscles, your thigh muscles. It's called a leg raise. So just lie on the ground, bend one leg as you can see there, and the other leg you want to keep it straight. You don't want to tense the muscles of this straight leg. Just keep it straight and then you want to raise it and lower it. You raise it, your leg in a slow fashion and then at the top of the movement, Hold it for about two to three seconds. So notice I'm not raising my leg fast. I'm lowering it down slowly, and then I turn around and raise it again. And you want to raise your leg to about a 30 to 40 degree angle. And you can aim for, say, 15 repetitions. You do three sets of 15. And try to do that two to three times a week. And if it becomes too easy, you can add some resistance. So here I'm wearing a 1.5 kilo ankle weight. The first few reps of this might seem easy, but it actually becomes very difficult. It's a fantastic exercise. Another variation of the leg raise is to raise your leg to a 30 to 40 degree angle, keep it straight, and hold it for, aim for about 30 seconds. Initially it might be a little bit difficult to get 30 seconds, but with practice I think you'll be able to do that, and then you might even be able to aim for a minute. Again, try to do this two to three times a week. And if that becomes too easy, you can add some resistance. So again here, I'm wearing a 1.5 kilo ankle weight. And this is all a fantastic exercise for strengthening the hamstring muscles, the muscles behind the thigh. So as you can see, I have my leg bent and I'm just raising or curling my leg until about a 90 degree angle. So the movement begins with my toes touching the ground of one foot and just curl my leg up. Fantastic for working the hamstring muscles. And this is a wall squat. This is a more advanced move, but it's great for targeting the thigh muscles and the muscles around your knees. So basically, you just wanna sit up against the wall, as you can see there, with my uh, legs forming about a 90 degree angle. You wanna lower yourself down to about parallel and hold it there. Maybe when you first start doing this, 10 seconds might be hard, but try to advance to a point where you can hold it for about 30 seconds and even a minute. Again, try to do this two to three times a week. And when you finish, just push yourself gently off from the wall. Hey everyone, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that like button, share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from it, and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. And of course, I'd love to hear from you down below in the comment section. Alright, thanks for watching. Until next time.